Hello and welcome to my kitchen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make ghee, which is clarified butter. Today, I'm gonna to be using salted butter because I actually prefer the taste of the ghee when it's made from salted butter. And my favorite brand of butter is Anchor. So let me show you how to make ghee. Let's get cooking. Now today, because I'm only using one packet of butter, which is 250 grams, I'm going to use a small heavy bottom pan. This pan is a one quart pan. So you need to make sure that you're using a heavy bottom pan because heat is very important when you're making ghee. And also you don't want the pan too big because the ghee must sit like about an inch high in the pan. So I'm gonna use the smallest ring that I have and I'm gonna do it on the lowest heat that I can. So my setting is on one. And the butter has come out of the fridge. I haven't let it soften up at all. I'm just gonna put it in the pan and let it melt. All right, so this has been going for five minutes and it's starting to bubble now. The butter is melting nicely and it is on a really low flame. So while the butter is melting and the ghee is being made, you'll see bubbles and sometimes the bubbles will splash over and come up quite high. So I like to use a spatter guard like this just to, to protect the stove from having splatters of ghee or to protect your face and hands while you're making the ghee. All right, so this has been cooking for a total of 10 minutes and you can see that there is some uh, foam at the top and the ghee, the clarified butter is in the middle and the milk solids are actually starting to settle at the bottom. So I'm gonna let this continue to cook a little bit. I'm just gonna move the top of the ghee around using a rounded spoon. I use a rounded spoon because I can get all the way around the edges here. I'm not going to remove this foam. I'm just kind of stirring it around so that I can see the bottom. And it still needs to cook for a little while longer. Okay, so this has been going for a total of 15 minutes. And you can see, you can see how the foam is starting to dissipate and the clarified butter is in the middle and you can see that that is very clear. It's just because I have some foam in my spoon, but the clarified butter is clear and the milk solids you can see settled at the bottom there. That's what you're looking for. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a teaspoon of water in here. And the reason we do this is because once the ghee is done, the water gives a really good like um, texture to the ghee. It makes it into kernels, like semolina kernels. So I'm gonna let this cook for another five minutes or so, and then I'm gonna turn off the heat. Okay, so this has been going for four minutes since I put the water in, and you can see the foam on top has almost disappeared. So now I'm going to turn off the stove. So this took uh, a total time of 19 minutes, and that's 19 minutes for one packet of butter. If you're using more packets of butter, obviously your pan's gonna be a bit bigger depending on how many packets you're using and it will take a little bit longer. But these are the key things you're looking for when you're making ghee. So you can see the clarified butter is right there. We're gonna let this cool and then we'll sieve it. All right, this has been cooling for about uh, 30 minutes and you can see now that the butter is clarified and all the milk solids are at the bottom. So I'm just gonna carefully strain it into the bottle.
and there you have clarified butter or ghee. Now what you have left in this pan are the milk solids and because we use salted butter there is salt in here too. You can just throw this away or you can scrape it up and put it in a bowl and use it to make your roti instead of adding oil and salt to the roti. Just substitute some of this for some of the oil. So the key things to remember when you're making ghee is number one, you want a heavy bottomed pan. Don't use a thin pan, otherwise it's very easy to burn the ghee. Two, make sure your pan is the right size because if it's too big, your ghee will lay out flat in the pan and again, it will heat up too fast and you'll, you'll burn the ghee. Then you also want to remember to keep your temperature on very low. So once, you know, you see it like coming up to a boil, actually right from the beginning, I would just keep the temperature really low. And finally, don't overcook your ghee. So as soon as you see that the ghee is clarified and you can see clean and clear, you know, melted ghee in the middle, turn off your heat add the water let it cook for five minutes or so and then turn your heat off if you go beyond that period things will start changing and you'll burn the ghee trust me i've done it many times so i hope you guys enjoyed these tips and enjoyed watching my video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you again very soon for some more cooking inspiration